Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jules Leahy. I'm here with Guitar and Camera today to do a guitar spotlight on one of my favorite guitars of all time, the almighty Gibson Les Paul. <laughs> Well, the Gibson Les Paul, this is one of the most iconic electric guitars in definitely rock and roll music, but just as far as electric guitars go, I think a lot of people kind of visualize one of these when they think of um, electric guitar. I, I'm lucky to have one. I love this guitar. This one's pretty new to me. This is a 2019 um, give, uh, standard Les Paul and I just love the beautiful sunburst. It caught my eye and um, I, I really love how it sounds and feels and it's got a nice big thick neck. All the kind of quintessential things that a Les Paul should have. It, it sustains. Uh, I giggle because that's a classic joke that a Les Paul just sustains forever, but it really does. Um, some of my favorite Les Paul players include Michael Bloomfield, Peter Green, um, Les Paul himself. I love Les Paul. If you haven't heard his early recordings with Mary Ford, they're just really astounding recordings. The music that they're making is, um, it's incredibly inventive. They're learning, they're, they're inventing multi-track recording. And you can hear Mary's voice and Les's guitar are stacked. You don't even know how many times, but Sounds like a whole band and a whole vocal section when it's really just the two of them. And this music back in the late 40s, early 50s, this was technology that Les himself was inventing. And we now use any and every time that there's a recorded piece of music, we're doing this sound on sound recording that um, Les's early recordings are uh, exploring the possibilities of all that. So Les Paul himself, he's definitely one of my favorite uh, guitar players, but boy, yeah, the the instrument he made here and what they ended up getting is just really wonderful. One of the things about a Les Paul is it's just it's big and chunky. Fender guitars have kind of a thinner. Um, their single coil pickups are kind of lighter. It's funny because it's not like one's better than the other. It's just a taste thing. But if you're playing like kind of big chunky rock and roll, the Les Paul makes it makes life kind of easier for you. It really handles the high overdrive, like high gain type of sounds really well. A Strat and a Telecaster does too. But like I said, it's just a different sort of flavor. There's not one correct answer. Let's listen to some. I've, I've got my Centura, the Klon Centaur clone made by Cherry Tone. I've got that on. And I've got my Cherry Tone amp set for a pretty good high overdrive sound. So I want to show you guys some of the nice tones that I like to get from this guitar. I'll go back and forth. I'm focusing on kind of higher overdrive right now. So I'm going to go back and forth between the pickups. We'll just kind of compare and contrast a little bit. But here's what this thing can sound like. switch the pickup so that's kind of brighter barking this is a little darker all right so that's a really nice high overdrive sound. I want to play just kind of like, let's just hear a little bit more of what the guitar sounds like. I'm on the overdrive channel of my amp. So there's a little bit of dirt on the tone, but it's cleaner. Okay. So I, I want to give us like the high overdrive that I just did. Um, and this is kind of like, yeah, it's overdriven, but it's not crazy. And then I'll give you a nice clean sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
So you can hear there's um, it's not totally clean, but it's very responsive to how hard you hit the notes. And there's definitely enough drive that it might I'd consider it an overdriven tone. Just everything sounds nice and clear. It's very forgiving. I feel like a Strat or a Telecaster especially is pretty unforgiving. Those guitars are, uh, yeah, like a, a Les Paul, you can just be like, you can be a little bit off and it still sounds great. And um, or if you're totally on, then it sounds even better. But I feel like this thing kind of forgives some. Um, I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel. Maybe I'm maybe it's not right, but it's just kind of like the easy button. It just sounds good. All right. So now let's check out some clean tone from the Les Paul. The Gibson humbuckers or humbucking pickups in Gibson guitars really offer this big, warm, beautiful sound. So I'm going through the clean channel of my amp now. There aren't any effects. I just have my volume pedal a little bit. Um, there's a little bit of reverb that you can hear, but I don't have any crazy modulation or anything. So this is just pretty much the guitar pure, little bit of reverb. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> All right, so there are three really great tones that I love to get from this guitar. It's just fun to play. I feel like this is the type of guitar that's like, if you try one and you haven't played one much and you go, whoa, that's what, that's what that thing has to offer. That's what I feel every time I pick up this guitar after playing anything else. So anyway, I wanna play one more clip. This is me um, playing a little G blues. This is kind of in the style of stepping out, like the blues breakers, John Mayall um, with Eric Clapton on guitar. I just want to get some more great tone. So check out the tone. This is me playing a little bit of G blues and um, hope you like this. <laughs> So you can hear there's a lot of there are a lot of harmonics popping. That's one of the things that's great. Like the cherry tone amp that I'm playing through, that's a Dumble clone. Really what's going on there with that amp is that the harmonics are popping. That's when people talk about the Dumble sound, uh, guys like Robin Ford, 
big part of their tone that's so pleasing to our ears is that the harmonics are just happening. We hear them, we notice them. That's where the tone is. Like the strings just sound like they're bigger than they actually are because we're just hearing so much of what the instrument has to offer. All right, so that was just a little bit of stepping out. Hope you dug that. And um, the the thing to me that excites me about that and, and what I love about hearing the guitar is the harmonics are just popping. You can hear. I don't mean pinch harmonics. I mean the tone is just harmonic rich. And that's what makes... Um, that's what makes all the the notes, they just kind of pop. There's this like life to them. I My strings are brand new too. So you can hear harmonics much better with fresh strings. But this guitar, the fresh strings, the Cherry Tone amp, the Centura by Cherry Tone, the pedal, they all bring the harmonics out. So I hope you could hear that in that video. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you dug our guitar spotlight on the Les Paul. And we have other Guitar Spotlight videos too. Um, so check out our page. We've done the Recording Kings Resonator. We have the Gibson ES335. And we've got a handful of other Guitar Spotlights coming up soon too. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have tons of new material all the time, performances, lessons, appreciation of guitar, music, everything in between. Um, so if you like this, please subscribe and come check it out. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below. I definitely want to engage with everybody watching. I want to make sure questions are answered and um, I'm just very accessible. So let me know if you have any questions and I will catch you next time.